So first line therapy, uh, I think we would all agree, is uh, the, the use of steroids. Um, and there are a few different flavors of steroids. Mm -hmm. Mine is watermelon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you discuss your choice of upfront therapy once you've decided to treat a patient? What drug you actually use? Um, how you dose it? And and how you um, how, what duration you use? So there are some data that suggests that dexamethasone um, may be better at inducing a longer term remission versus versus just using oral prednisone. prednisone. Um, I tend to go with oral prednisone um, because I'm not entirely convinced that we really put people into longer term remissions mm -hmm. um, with dexamethasone. And I, I think the dexamethasone is often poorly tolerated. All, all corticosteroids are poorly tolerated. Mm -hmm. um, dexamethasone is particularly poorly tolerated in older individuals. Mm. So I almost never use it in patients over the age of 60. Um, and you give the prednisone at what dose? Usually I start at somewhere around a milligram per kilogram. Uh -huh. um, that's going to depend somewhat on the size of the patient. If I've got a very large patient, I'm not going to go that high. Um, but I usually start with a milligram per kilogram, and I pretty rapidly taper that prednisone down. How I, rapidly? Um, usually it depends on how they've responded. Okay. So I'm usually looking for a response, and when I say a response, I usually like to see them over 100,000 and then begin to taper. And when I say rapidly, I'm, if, if, let's say I'm at 100 milligrams, I will very quickly go to, go to 80 milligrams, 60 milligrams, 40 milligrams, okay. and then maybe get a little bit slower. People declare themselves somewhere in there. So when you start the prednisone, one milligram per kilogram, are you checking counts weekly? Absolutely. Weekly. Yeah. And, it, and depending, I mean, if they're very low, I might be checking them in just a few days. Mm -hmm. But if they're very low, especially if they have symptoms of bleeding, I'll usually add IVIG because sure. you're going to see a lot more rapid response. And I am asking this in the outpatient setting. Right. I do believe that if patients are hemorrhaging, we would be using That's IVIG no in an inpatient. Yeah. But even without hemorrhage, if... I'm meeting them for the first time. They've got a very low count. They're in the single digits. I frequently will add IVIG mm -hmm. um, just to get them to move mm -hmm. in the first place. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, that'll last a little while. We know it's going to ultimately come down. And in the meantime, we can start to taper steroids yeah. because I'm going to start them together. So then you're tapering in general and knowing that this is very individual. Your tapering in general lasts, what, Four weeks, six weeks? Four, four to six weeks. Okay. I, I would hope that I'd be pretty close to getting them off drug yeah. um, somewhere in there. Okay. Um, or at that point, be seeing that they're not going to tolerate a further taper. Yeah. And you taper completely to off? I not try. To a low, yeah. I try. Okay. All right. So, Dr. McCray, how do you um, use steroids in the frontline setting? My approach is pretty similar. I've I've used prednisone over the years as I see more and more dexamethasone papers mm -hmm. suggesting it might be a little better and I'm not entirely convinced. I, I probably use it a little more uh, often, but I, I would uh, have the same general approach. I mean, I, I, do, uh, I do, when I do use dexamethasone, it's mostly in younger patients. Okay. I, don't, I don't, I think in a lot of these reports you read, it said there was no more toxicity with dexamethasone compared to prednisone, but that's certainly not my experience, especially in older patients who are glucose intolerant or have a metabolic syndrome or other things. Yeah. Um, so uh, when I use prednisone, I, I usually start just at pretty much a flat 60 milligrams. Oh. Um, and then I, once they, they, they respond, I taper by about 10 milligrams a week. Okay. So it's about the same duration of yeah. taper. I just don't go quite as high, perhaps, as Dr. Gernsheimer initially. Hmm. And when you give the dexamethasone, what is your dose and what is your schedule? It's, it's the 40 milligrams per day for four days. Okay. Um, and uh, if, if they haven't had a, a, a strong response by uh, within 10 to 14 days, I'll repeat that. Okay. And then just hope for the best. And if that doesn't work, we go to plan B very quickly. 